Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to yet another episode of the GC Informer. Like most Sundays, today is going to be another quick news video. So anyways, let's get right into it. First things first, Valve has been talking about restricting giving away game keys to developers for free, meaning that they can sell them at retail or hand them out to reviewers and stuff like that. However, they're about to get more strict on this. They are going to start restricting giving away free keys to games that seem like they're exploiting Steam or just really don't serve any purpose. They have an example here and I quote, We're trying to look more closely at extreme examples of products on Steam that don't seem to be providing actual value as playable games. For instance, when a game has sold 100 units, has mostly negative reviews, but requests 500,000 Steam keys, we're not interested in supporting trading card farming or bot networks at the expense of being able to provide value and service for players, is a quote from Valve. So basically, developers are only going to be getting keys based on how well their game is doing. So this likely isn't going to affect those of us who rely on keys in order to keep their business going. This should mostly be fine. Daybreak Studios is rebranding their popular game H1Z1, calling it Just Survive. Alongside this name change, they're also getting a huge update that apparently changes the story, as well as bringing along with it new game modes, a new map, and an in-game currency that can be exchanged for items. This is among a few other small things that are coming with it. That's pretty cool. I know H1Z1 is a very popular game, especially in the streaming side of everything. Updates like this keep the player bases happy and keep them coming back to the game. It's always really cool to see stuff like this, especially when it's free updates. So earlier this week, a new trailer for Star Wars Battlefront 2 leaked that showed off the space battles that were missing from the first game. While the footage isn't gameplay, it is in-engine captured, and it apparently shows off Yoda as a fighter pilot, which is just awesome. These space battles are being developed by Criterion, who developed the Burnout series. A live demonstration of this mode will be shown on August 21st at Gamescom. Anyways folks, that's about it for today's news. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments down below, and don't forget to stay tuned to Gamecast for all of your gaming needs.